Trying to get the ball moving once again. Gaddafi seems to be moving seamlessly here. They have an opportunity. Brian Kalumba takes the shot. Unbelievable! Spectacular! Alex Titata with a beauty of a goal! Pure dynamite! What a strike! Alex Titata in a minute sets Kakin on fire. Bang, bang, boom! Gaddafi in the lead. Well, that's the kind of goal that uh, shakes any kind of defense. And I, I can tell you that for Vipers, the air has been uh, shaken out of them, looking at how quick that strike was. But we knew that uh, once you let uh, Chitata get that kind of free shot, there's a bit of uh, clumsy defending there coming in from Vipers in terms of pressing the ball. Because once they set up by Kalumba, a former player for Vipers, and he looked at the goal and the goalkeeper, Mudekereza just stood no chance because it was a free hit. Just look at what he did. Looked at the goal and just shot and the goalkeeper, no reaction. The defense just didn't press the ball. And this is the kind of goal that is definitely going to set the tone for this game. Top tier staff there from Alex Chitata. Probably will have no final goal in his team. In his era in Express, no one clocked up as many minutes on the pitch as he Oh did. yeah, he, 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 he was an ever present. Customer. Yeah. As a ball comes in and tips the upright, confusion in that defense almost coming to penalize. Poor, poor play there. Bakari Magunda and Waiswa getting involved in some silly shenanigans here that could have costed them. A backhead it was that just smacked the upright. The goalkeeper, Joel Mutakuwa, would have been beaten. I just don't understand what kind of defending that was from um, Andrew Weiser. How do you knock the ball back in that kind of position when clearly you're not even aware? Please. This one's unknown, but eventually, Romeo, with the presence of mind to toss the ball back, and now he comes up to Karim Watambala, measures his shot! Goalkeeper spills, Ibrahim Orit in possession, sending the ball through, but uh, oof, the offside flag here coming against them. Issa Mubiru had already blown that as well. But that was some ingenuity coming in from Abdul Karim Watambala, measured his shot, it was crystal clear. Was he onside? Was he offside just slightly? I just, I, I just don't think he was offside. I don't think, because I tell the, the shot was struck there, I don't think he had a straight offside. Because probably if he was, it was very marginal, that guy. Vipers now looking to use bodies to press forward. Zraja center move, very advanced position, crosses the ball in. Goalkeeper Joel Matakuba will pick that one. That was good phase of play from Vipers. Now, this is more like what Vipers should be showcasing, where they use the ball, they pass to each other, they move, and then they've got um, that opening, and then um, they deliver that final pass. Because I thought that um, that interplay there between Watambala and, of course, um, there was uh, Mandela, and then picking out um, the midfielder, Siraj Sentamu, who crossed quite well there. And I thought that that was um, a good opportunity created. And we need to see a lot more by the moment um, for one to remember. Cut back here, coming in, and a chance for Vipers, but Joe Mutakuwa, right place, right time. Looks like the coordination between the players. Everybody was going for that particular ball, hoping to be the one to strike. Good play coming in from Ibrahim Orit to cut it back. But indecision, and in the end, Abdul Karim Watambala took the shot. Milton Kalisa felt he should have been the one to take the shot. Miscommunication, missed opportunity. Well, I think that uh, Milton Kalisa was um, trying to take that Ibrahim shot. Orit pivots on his axis and still retains position, twisting one way, then the other, and now goes for an audacious attempt! Uh, for a moment you feel that uh, Vipers were about to get back into this game, you look at that um, attempt there by Orit, that was superb, great technique shown there, um, deep, getting that shot over the goalkeeper, and I think that that was uh, uh, one that was going to expose uh, Joe Mutakwa, because if it had dipped in, that had been a spectacular goal, but one that you definitely feel that the goalkeeper didn't do well enough. But I th well, free kick coming up here, and a possibility, and saved here by the goalkeeper. Powerful header coming in from Hilary Mukundane, but Joel Mutakuwa will not be beaten in the first 45 minutes. Superb save, good reflexes, well stretched, tips that over the bar, and that's a corner.
Well, I can see that, that um, this um, got a, 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 a chance for a cross. And just like Okani. I was stuttering there, a <laughs> free kick from Brighton Okani. Also one of Stutter. And uh, for Roberto Oliveira, seems to wonder if anything is going to go his way today. Poor delivery. Yeah, poor, poor, really, poor delivery. He was really heavily hit there by um, Brighton Nukani. Not the same kind of freaking that he delivered Kanafi, against him. Who would now occupy seventh spot. That should be quite a return for Gaddafi, I can tell you. And a chance here, looking to set up the ball. Bumbling, and they do not Rafa. score that one. A real oh clutter job here, real clutch of a striker or forwards here. An opportunity that they should be on the bench talking about it, but it's all going to be for Vipers. It looks like it's Gaddafi preparing and a shot from distance, well angled by Abdul Karim Motambala. Joe Motakuwa judged the trajectory, maybe it's just a judge, but uh, well, his interplay will be seen as a beautiful. They have pieces uh, being below par. Long ball in, smacks the upright here, goes away. Opportunities off here at Vipers looking to take capital in this particular one. The goalkeeper is still laying prone in the goal area. Almost out of nothing, but Joel Mutakubwa doing his bit to make sure nothing gets past him. It was a lovely free kick edged in, and he just clawed that out of the air. It did come at some very personal painful expense yeah that was a good delivery coming in the first one from Najibika and uh you gotta give him um the flowers there for that delivery that caused the mayhem in that uh, Gaddafi defense but for Joe Mutakuwa he really had to stretch so hard to get to that ball and you wonder whether he did not uh, hurt himself in the process because like you said probably came um, at the cost of um maybe spraining his uh, arm moment the medical team will definitely attend to him the end of the day this is also going to pose another very tricky question John Vianen Simbe standout player for the day yeah exactly I think that uh, Joe Mutaku has uh, put up some really incredible saves um, on the Gaddafi side of course I don't think it, it, it will be this man in the picture here Alfred Mudekereza I think that um, he, uh, save for that shot on uh, maybe one or one save that he, he pulled off a shot while ago I think that uh, Joe Mutaku has done uh, a pretty good job uh, but, uh, but you could also say that the Gaddafi defense has also done quite well, except for a few mishaps in the first half. Andrew Weiswa, when he almost considered an own goal. And of course, this man who has scored the all important goal that still divides the two sides. And there's a chance to see it again. It was such a cracking shot. I'm sure that um, for the greats of the game, this is one of those strikes that they would uh, be proud of. And, and if it was at the World Cup, it would be contender for goal of the tournament. All with intent and purpose. It's cleared away by Hilary Mukundane. Bekalawa tries to probe it forward. And the much anticipated final whistle from Shamira Nabata comes to a four. You can even tell from her face this has been a high octane game that has had its toll even on her as a referee. Alex Chitata probably the one that will be counted in the stats as having had his mark on the game and it was his wonder goal a worldy that gave this team Gaddafi Football Club a much deserved lead and from thereafter it was a pattern of holding and denying the Venoms. Roberto Olivier came pretty confident thinking they could pick three points and could snatch the top spot fortunately as often is in the game of football what can be rarely is what will be the end of the game vipers long trip to make with no points to count and gaddafi claim another big scalp remaining unbeaten at home full time at the kakindu stadium in the start times uganda premier league brought to you by mtn the official